to let you understand what the prayer is okay after that i will show you why that prayer is powerful and then what you need supposed to do and why you need to learn this prayer so every person who wants to get into a relationship even when you want to get into a job a new job you are searching for a job and you want to start working with somebody or a certain company you are looking for a woman to marry you are looking for a man to marry let me tell you something guys here i'm trying to teach people who are serious i'm not here to teach people who are looking women and men to play around with i know you have been played with i know you have played so many girls i know you have been played with uh, by so many men so you are tired the reason why you always stop by these lives here is because you want someone who is so serious with life somebody who's not going to come into your life just to play around with you and when i say play around with you this is what i mean and i beg to be corrected we have people who start a relationship not because they want to get married they just start a relationship because they just want to have a good time i coach those people as well to just have a good time with each other in fact it is so beautiful and wonderful for a man and a woman to be in a relationship not because they want to marry each other but because they know where they are going knowing your destination knowing your destination where that relationship is taking you to is better than being in a relationship where your thoughts are that this man or woman is going to marry me yet one of you is playing can i repeat that so you understand better it is okay to be in a relationship where the two of you know we are not going to get married we are in this for this time for this period because we just want to feel about each other we want to feel good what i need is somebody to shower me with love at the moment when that time comes, when we part our ways, we will part our ways loving each other as friends, happily. But if God so loved this relationship, we might never part our ways. You will be more peaceful than a person who is in a relationship and giving it all, thinking in his mind that this man is going to marry me. But that man has already ruled you out of his question. You are that guy who is in that relationship and you are giving your all, giving money, giving time, giving your emotions, giving your feelings and everything. But that woman has already ruled you out that she's not going to get married to you. So I am teaching these people who know what they want in the relationship. This is the powerful prayer that you need to put in your head. Every time you start any kind of relationship, whether it is love, whether it is a family relationship, whether it is just work, job, you get a new job. I want you to make this prayer. Ask God that God, if this relationship is not going to work, end it with immediate effect. If this relationship is not going to work, I pray that as fast as possible show me the signs so that i can leave let them cheat so that i can know before i waste my time let them ghost me so that i can read the message that it's not going to work so i can know and leave immediately let me see the signs even if it is a work if it is a company you are always praying that the moment you arrive at the gate you can see the mood of the workers you can see the security guard how are they are they happy you can speak to maybe um you know uh, uh, an office boy somewhere to to see their mood you can do your research you can ask around what what kind of a company is this look guys people do what we call due diligence people walk around asking the moment you get an invitation the moment you get an offer letter you always ask we always ask every time like do they pay salary on time do they give promotion in this company we always do a research 
but we have never tried to do a research on the people we want to start a love relationship with. We have never prayed and asked God to show us the sign as fast as possible to understand that if this relationship is not going to work, end it immediately before I lose myself. That is one of the most powerful prayers. When you learn to pray and to believe, I will tell you, my sister, you will see the signs. And the moment you see these signs, you will rush to me or any other life coach out there with your points. And you will be seeing, you have seen so many people coming here, even on this live here. It's because there are signs they are seeing that does not portray the kind of love they, have been, they are looking for. The problem is we've never prayed about it. We've never asked God to give us these signs. So sometimes we are lucky that those signs come even without asking for them. But I will tell you the reason why you need this prayer. Number one reason why you need this prayer so much, most of the people have missed on the right people they wanted in love relationship. Most of the people, powerful people, good women out there, good men, men who have structured themselves, men who are loyal, have missed on great relationships because they are still holding on to this person who is pretending to be the one. But at the end, they will never be the one. There's someone who is in your life right now who is pretending that they are the best man in the world. It has been three months of relationship. It's been one year of relationship. They look so good. They, they, they do everything as you want, but they are pretending. God is looking at you and asking and waiting for you to make this prayer. God, if this relationship is not going to work at the end of the story, end it right now. Show me a sign. Let this man cheat. Let this man ghost me. Let us quarrel to a point where we cannot mend it so that I don't waste time in this relationship and miss on the person that is rightfully for me. Number two, some relationships are going to waste your time with toxicity. You are this very happy soul. You are a very happy, excited, delighted woman, a woman who knows how to do everything, woman who knows how to cook, a woman who has got friends, woman who is very happy at workstation, your work, everything is perfect. And then you find this man, you find this man who is going to be so toxic in your life, but the beginning of the relationship, they are so good. You are this guy who is so handsome, a guy who is has done all the research, all work on himself, has, you know, you have your own home, you have your business, you're working employed and, and, and you're clean and you're happy and you're helping people out there. The society know you as the best guy in our society. When somebody asks about you within that community, the only, pers- the only word people say, he's a gentleman. You're talking about so-and-so son, he's a gentleman. Then my brother, You meet this woman who is coming to pretend at the start of the relationship that she's so good because she sees you're driving a Mercedes Benz, because she sees you're having a company, you're having your business, you're working in a very good uh, company and you're having your money. So she pretends and she becomes very good. Then you lose yourself in her. If you're a woman, you lose yourself in him. But this is a toxic woman. You're going to waste your time If you don't make this powerful prayer that God, if this relationship is not going to work, end it. Show me a sign. Give me a sign. However much they're pretending that they are good, give me a sign. Let her mobile phone ring while we are together and let that man speak. Let her mobile phone receive a message that will show me that there's something that I have to be careful about. Let them cheat on me. Let me find them cheating red-handed so that I can leave this relationship before it gets toxic. Because let me tell you something, my sweetheart. A toxic person can never damage you unless they get inside you. A poison, if this water was poisonous, it can never affect me until I drink. I can buy a glass of water from the shop 
it's mine. I own it. But it can never be poisonous in my life if I'm still keeping it on my desk. I bought it. It's mine. You start a relationship with somebody. She's yours. She's your, your partner. But unless, unless you keep that person inside you, you drink the water and it gets inside you. It becomes toxic. It becomes poisonous. So if you make that prayer, if this relationship is not going to work, end it. If this water is poisonous, God, before I put it on my tongue, let the glass fall, let the water pour down. God has saved me. I would have drunk this water, but something just happened. Something just, you know, from nowhere, and the glass falls down, and the water all pours down. It is so possible, my dear sisters and brothers, that when you make that prayer in believing, sometimes you will drink that water and God will rush you to the toilet and you will have, I don't know how it's called, a diarrhea. And all of that water will just pass through your stomach into the toilet and it doesn't kill you. That is when you find a man or a woman who is poisonous. They will come, you will welcome them into your life. But when that prayer is there guiding you, there will just be a passing wind. They will never affect you. We don't pray. We always keep on praying that God make her the best woman that I've been looking for. You don't choose for God. God chooses for us. You just ask them, God, if she was not mine, let it end. If she was mine, God, keep her for me. Our prayers always is forcing God to keep this woman with us. And when we are praying and asking God to keep this person with you, God will keep them with you. And they will keep on destroying you. And this is what is happening in most of 90% of marriages out there. The person, the husband, the wife is with you because you keep on praying. You prayed at the beginning of the relationship. You prayed to God and you asked God to keep them with you. You never prayed and asked God that God, the choice is yours. If it is not going to work for, for us, show us. Show us as fast as possible. Give us a sign. Let something happen. When you pray, you will never waste your time with a toxic person to be in your life. They will go and you'll be peaceful. Let's get to number three. Why is it important for you to make this prayer? Sometimes when these people stay in our lives, we hate ourselves. Have you ever met a person who don't love themselves? Imagine those people that you went to school with. Picture. I want you to picture. And there's a time. There's one time that I saw in the year 2018. There's a person who sent me a, a message uh, about a certain girl. We were in the same high school. I want you to picture your, your high school life, your primary school life, and your college life. Picture those friends that you had. Look at that one lady or one guy who used to iron their clothes, who used to spray themselves, even though that time when I was studying, we didn't even know about perfumes. But there was that one lady, one guy who knew about, uh, uh, do we call it baby powder? You know, do you know, you guys know about the baby powder, right? They used to put on their face, they used to put on their armpits, but we did not know. Picture, think about that lady, that guy who used to iron and, you know, stretch their clothes and they used to be very neat. Look at them today. They've left themselves. They are miserable. You cannot even believe who they are. You cannot even, you question yourself, what happened to this lady? She used to get presents as being, you know, as being the most clean person in school. What happened to them? Sometimes when we don't meet, when we don't make this prayer, if this relationship is not going to work, end it. We get ourselves in this place where we hate ourselves. We cannot shower anymore. We cannot put perfume on us because you are asking yourself, why should I put perfume on me? Why he's coming to beat me up? He's coming to abuse me. Somebody met you. You are so beautiful. You are intelligent. You are wise. You have your money and everything. And this person gets into your life. They start to abuse you. Your husband or your wife is reminding you how ugly you are. 
Every time they will remind you, be like so-and-so. Why can't you be like so-and-so? Look at them. They're so beautiful. They wear nice clothes. You don't change. You're just the same. That spirit is going to make you to hate yourself. Because when they leave, they are going to work and they leave you home. You will be asking yourself a lot of questions. What happens to me really? Am I really ugly? Why is she trying to compare me with so and so? And at that moment, when you will go to Instagram or maybe Facebook, and you see the photos that are being down, uh, uploaded by the person who was being mentioned, you realize that, yes, these people are looking more beautiful than me. And you are not realizing that why they are looking more beautiful than you, it's because they are showering twice a day. It's because they are using perfumes and makeups. It's because they are ironing their clothes. You are buying clothes in every place, same place, the same mitumba, the same second hand, the same ukai ukai as the Filipino call it. The same second hand clothes are the clothes they are buying. But the moment they buy their clothes, they wash and they iron and they perfume themselves and they take selfies and they upload it on, on Facebook. You buy from the same place, you wash, you don't iron, you don't perfume yourself, and therefore you look ugly. But in reality, the person you met has impacted your life negatively in a way that you can never recover yourself. A powerful prayer, love prayer. God, if this relationship is not going to work, end it immediately. Show me a sign. Let them cheat if that is the, the sign that is going to make me leave them. Make them ghost on me if that is the sign that will make, let me leave them. Let something happen that can cause that. But if it is mine, let it be mine. I'm telling you, God is a powerful God and is a merciful God. He listens and he knows what you need. He understands it better than you understand. And he will give you the rightful person. But we are competing with God. We are doing God's work. Instead of letting God do his work, we want to work for God. Oh God, you know, she's so beautiful, God. I just want a woman like her. I just want that woman. Yes, God listens to your prayer and he will bring a woman like her. But you know what? That woman is going to make you hate yourself. That woman is going to delay you to miss on the right person. That woman is going to waste your time and put toxic life in you. You remember these guys who are so good at home. Your brothers, look at your brothers today. Some of your brothers who used to help you nowadays are never not helping you. They don't contribute anything to your home. They have money. They are employed. They have businesses. They used to contribute. They used to pay even your school fees. The moment they got married, it went. They don't pay your school fees. They don't contribute anything on your home. What happened? They never prayed. They never prayed. A woman came and put a toxic thing into their lives and they forgot that you were their family members. They forgot where you came from. I will tell you here and repeat again and again. If you have lived your 20 years, even 18 years with your family, being fed, being educated, Never allow any woman or man to come and separate you with your family. That's a toxic person. You might be happy with them. You might be finding everything with them. But as long as you part ways with the people who made you the person you are, it shall never be well with you. You might not experience it today, but maybe your children or the children of your children might suffer. Remember in the Bible, guys, those who read the Bible and those who read Quran, this story is also in Quran. There was a time that David was so good, was so bad. The relationship between David and, 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 and Saul was so bad. But there was only one person in the house of Saul who used to be a very good friend of David. When Saul wanted to kill David, he shouted and told David to run away because his father was coming to kill him. By the time David entered the throne and David was a king, he asked for the lineage of that guy. If there is anyone in his family, bring them so I can bless them. And the person who was blessed, remember, was um, 
how do we call them? A handicap. How do we call these people? Uh, how am I forgetting this term? You know, the person who David blessed in the lineage of uh, lineage of uh, Nathan. Sorry, guys. Sorry, guys. Um, I got a call, and that's why I stopped for a, a little bit. Somebody was trying to call me. So, when you get a toxic person, you're gonna hate yourself. Number three or number four now. Most of the people have lost their self-esteem. Most of the women that I'm talking to today, you have lost your self-esteem. Merim Jack, this video will be available on my YouTube, so if you miss it, don't worry. Keep on liking the video, guys. Let us tap, let us make it 20k likes. If that is possible, we are so many we can do that within a second. So let's push those likes, guys. One, most of the women, women who are now here, let me speak to the women first. Do you know why you've lost self-esteem? Do you know why you are looking for a man who will love you with your child? Do you know why you are now looking for a man who has a child? Because you're thinking that now you cannot find a man, you cannot be married by a man who's a virgin. Do you know why? Because you've lost your self-esteem. And why did you lose your self-esteem? You entered into a relationship that you thought was going to build you and it left you hurt. It left you broken. It left you with children. So you are thinking that because of that, you've lost your self-esteem. You are trying to look for somebody who is also lower like you are. Who told you that just because of having a kid, now you have lowered your value? Who told you that just because you are a single mother, your value has come down? Make this prayer, my dear sister, a single mother who is listening to this, make this prayer. Instead of praying that I need a man who will love my child, tell God, if this relationship is not going to work, end it. If it's going to work, God, let it be mine. Stop praying for men who will love your kids. We will come and we will pretend and we will love your children so much before we get married to you. The moment we get you, that's the time you will understand that we never loved your children. We will remind you that this was not my child. This child has got his father. I cannot pay school fees for him. It is not my responsibility. Call his father. I don't like a child who cries every time. I cannot sleep. They are crying too much. I don't have a child with you. Why should I be here with crying children? Come on, women. Stop praying for men who can love your children. Pray that, God, if this relationship is not going to work, end it immediately. If it is mine, God, preserve it for me. We don't want to, 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 to love your children, to love you. After all, we are not coming for women who have children. We are coming for women. So you want to pray to God to give you a relationship that will work. If it will work, you will not be understand you will not be wanting somebody who will love your children we don't have to love your children after all the person we want is the woman we don't want a woman with a child so when you pray to god that if this relationship is not mine let it end it will end whether they love your ch children or they know they don't you need to understand that that man needs you that love is for you the love for your child comes when you find the right person. It does not come because you are asking for it. And you people have messed your lives, and especially these single women here out here, you've messed your life so much because we will come and we will tell you that, oh, there's no problem, you know. Ah, me, I don't, I don't care. I, need, I don't care. I just need you. Even if you have children, bring them home. Bring them. I will stay with them. Let me tell you. There's no relationship that will be the same way it was, the way it was starting. Never. There has never been a 100% relationship that remained the same as it started. When relationship starts, everybody is an angel. When love starts, my dear people, hey, when love starts, my brothers and sisters, people call each other 10 hours. Sometimes we call 
and we have to hold the phone while the charger charging uh, cable is on the phone because we don't want to keep it down. The relationship has just started. It is baby. Sometimes we don't even have a word to say. The phone is just there and you're saying nothing because love has started. You know, sometimes it does not even matter if we are talking. We just want to hear you breathe over the phone. Okay, let's sleep. Okay, we can sleep together. I just want to hear you snoring. That's how it starts. You sleep on the fo- with the phone on your ear because you want to hear them snoring. Love has started. For how long will it remain? You people calling each other and ending the call on phones on each person's ear. For how long will you call even you are mopping and the phone is on your ear? For how long, my brother, will you be, uh, will you be, you know, removing the car wheel, but you, 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 you hold the phone because love is new and you are doing a very heavy job. Sometimes you're pushing the car. You are a mechanic. You hold the phone with your shoulder just to talk to her because love is sweet. Love is interesting. I'm going to ask you, my dear sister, for how long will they do that? So a man who's telling you that, oh, you know, I love your child, there's no problem. I'll marry you with them. For how long will they love that child? You don't need a man who will love your child. You need a relationship that will work. A powerful prayer is not to have a man who will love your children. If you're a single mother, if you're a single dad, the powerful prayer is not to have a woman who is going to love your child. Because that woman will love your child until you will give her the ring. The moment the ring gets into her fingers, by the time you will be at work, that's the time she will remember. She will look at your child and she will say that this child reminds me of her ex. And as long as this child is here, her ex is still in her mind, in his mind. As long as this child is still here, her, her, his ex is still in his mind. And I can't take it. That's the time you will come back home and you will find your, your, fing, your, 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 your child's finger all with blisters because your wife took his hands and put on a frying pan because the child ate sugar from the kitchen. You found a woman who loved your child. But after two years of marriage, that same woman have put the hand of your child in the frying pan. You got a woman who loved your son, right? Nothing will never change. People change just like the time changes. Right now, you guys are calling each other 10 hours and you don't mind. Can you ask yourself for how long will we be calling each other for 10 hours? Number four. Or five guys. The reason why you need this powerful prayer, which says if this relationship is not going to work, end it immediately, is you will end up hating any other person in the semblance of that gender. You have had and you've seen women here on my TikTok when I'm teaching here, you've had so many women here saying, I hate that gender. You know, this gender. Men also saying this gender. I always ask myself, have you dated all the men around the world? Any woman who approaches me, those who are in my classes, the students who take my classes know that the moment you approach me with telling me that I don't know what men need, you are out of my class. Because if you don't know what men need, then you also don't know what you need. Because why would you be dating men? Why will you be sleeping with men? You only slept with one man. If you don't make the powerful prayer, if this relationship is not going to work, end it immediately. The thing is, you will stay in that relationship and at the end of it, you will hate men. You will hate women. Not because women did something to you, not because men did something to you, but because a man did something in your life. The powerful prayer is, if this relationship is not going to work, end it, God, so that I don't hate men or I don't hate women. 
Ask God to show you the way. Ask God to give you the signs. Let the red flags come as fast as possible so that you don't stay in a relationship that is going to kill you. Some relationship kill us from inside. We've lost our self-esteem. We are thinking that we are lesser people. We are lesser human beings. We are lesser women. We are lesser men. We deserve less. But you know now, because I have a child, I don't want a man who doesn't have a child. I think a man who has a child can understand me better. You know, because I have a child, I don't want a woman who doesn't have a child. I think a woman who has a child will understand me better. Who told you they will? Who told you that just because that man has a child, now they can understand you? Who told you that just because that woman has a child, they will understand you? I'm taking questions, guys. My class is over and I'll be taking guests. If you have a question that is boiling you and you want to ask, please don't type. Because if you type, as you can see, my shirt is white. I will not see all those questions. So request to be a guest. Whether you'll come on your video, whether you'll come without the video, come. Favor, 